Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make my cinnamon maple sourdough apple pie. So this is a brand new recipe. It's something that I've been thinking about for a long time but never actually tried it until last week. I had to tinker with it a little bit to get it right, but my family all agrees that this recipe is so good. It's perfect for the fall season as all of the apples are now ripe and it's a great way to use sourdough starter. I talked all about the benefits of sourdough and fermenting your grains in a previous video. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out and how to make your own starter but I wanna dive right into the recipe and just show you how to make it. So we're gonna start with some apples. The first time I did this, I used some green apples and some pink ladies. This time I'm using galas. You can really use any apples you like. Either way, it'll be delicious. Get about seven or eight apples. Mine before were pretty large. Gala's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna use eight and then just peel them and then dice them up into about one half inch chunks. I was told that I peel apples really wrong and that I'm supposed to use a paring knife. I did try that and I cannot figure out how to get it right. So I know this is not the right way to peel apples, but this is just what works for me. Peel them however makes most sense to you. I peel mine like a potato. I'm gonna do just one more because these are so much smaller than the original apples I did. The goal is to basically fill the cast iron skillet that we're gonna use up about two thirds of the way with apples. So you kind of have to eyeball the size, but if you're doing large apples, then seven is perfect. Smaller apples like this, I'm thinking about nine will be just right. Now I'm just gonna chop these up and get them going in my cast iron skillet. I have a 12 inch for this. You could also do a smaller one if that's what you have. Just probably use a few less apples. It's not too particular, just so that they all fit. All right, now we're gonna get cooking these apples. I'm just gonna get it going on medium heat. I'm using a cast iron skillet, which I talked a lot about in another video, why I love cast iron so much in the kitchen. Now you could probably use a different pan. It just needs to be something that can go from the stove to the oven, which is why I love cast iron so much. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter. I like to use Kerrygold because it's grass fed. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now I'm just gonna let this cook on medium for about 10 minutes until the apples aren't quite soft yet, but just slightly cooked and buttery. All right, while these apples are cooking and smelling absolutely delicious, I'm gonna get the sourdough topping going. So for this, you're gonna need a cup and a half of fed sourdough starter. What that basically means is that it's sourdough starter that you've pulled out of the refrigerator and you've fed flour and water and then you've allowed it to sit for at least eight hours. So I fed my sourdough starter yesterday with some flour and water and so now it's all ready to go. This is much like when you're making the sourdough skillet recipe that I showed you or sourdough pancakes. This is what you always want is fed sourdough starter. So I'm gonna do a cup and a half of starter, three eggs, two tablespoons of pure maple syrup, 
two teaspoons of baking powder. and three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I like to get mine stirred up a little bit because the eggs were cold. I don't want the coconut oil to get hard when they hit, but the rest of the mixture is pretty warm because it's been sitting out. So if I mix it up, I won't have that problem. I have the oven preheating on 400 degrees. All right, once these apples are just barely to the point of getting soft, not really cooked through at all, add in a half a cup of pure maple syrup and two tablespoons of einkorn flour. Now, you can also use freshly ground whole wheat flour. You can use all-purpose flour. You could even use about two teaspoons of coconut flour if you don't want any unfermented wheat flour in this. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this einkorn because we don't really have a hard time with the gluten at all. So this small amount is totally fine for us. This just helps to thicken this and make it more like a caramelized syrup rather than liquidy. Just gonna cook it a few more minutes to make the flour thicken this whole thing up. All right, after that's cooked for a few minutes, just gonna take this sourdough mixture and pour it on top and then pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until this top part is just nicely cooked through. All right, this house is smelling delicious. I made this last week before the weekend and my family absolutely loved it. I served it with some vanilla ice cream which just makes it taste like regular apple pie. It's so good and obviously it has the healthy fermented grains, which makes it way better for you than conventional apple pie. It's a perfect treat for fall. You could also use it as a breakfast. You could top it with a little bit of butter, maybe a little bit more syrup. That would be great for fall or as a dessert with some vanilla ice cream. You could try my date sweetened ice cream that's made with coconut milk and dates instead of sugar and just use vanilla instead of the cocoa powder. That is perfect with it and then you don't have to have any white sugar. Be sure to stop by the blog farmhouseonboon.com. I'll leave a link in the description below to this exact post, but I have a printable recipe card for this. So if you want to print it and save it for later, make it often, keep it in your rotation, you can head over to the blog to grab that. Well, I hope that you enjoy this recipe. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.